Hello. Right. What's this? Hello. Welcome back to this. I've put on a bit of makeup, not that much. Skin doesn't look great. Let's give you an update. One thing I would like to talk to you guys about is how stressed I've been with things lately. Oh boy. So th two, three years ago, two to three years ago, I made a graphic. It looks like this. It's a heart hand, which is a thing that K-pop stars do a lot. I uploaded it on a blogger I had at the time and I've since put it on Etsy products, Redbubble and things like that. And occasionally I have to go through and see if anybody's nicked it. Which is weird that that happens to something that I made, but it does. People find the image and then they put it on other things and sell it as their own. And I have to message them or message the company that they're selling it on and be like, it's not theirs. If you could take that down, please. <laughs> and it's fine because it's just, just one person has made product, you know, not that big of a deal. However, a couple of months ago, someone on Twitter DM'd me saying that they saw another piece of artwork of mine and someone was making a pin out of it. It didn't look very good. It didn't look very good. And I had to message them and mess DM a company that they were working with to make wholesale things of it to sell within the K-pop community. And that bummed me out. And then I was in a call and I was telling the story of my day of dealing with all that and being very annoyed. And uh, Hannah, my best friend, um, found a bunch of other things on Etsy that was this product on a bunch, bunch of listings. And I've just, just, it's really stressful and annoying and frustrating. When, when did this happen? When did we start doing this? Hold on, I can find out. October, November was when we started doing this. So what we did, uh, Todd helped me a lot with this, found all of them, uh, worked out how much uh, they'd earned from it on, because on Etsy, a lot of times you can see the products that have sold, so you can make a rough estimate on how much they've earned from it. So we kind of put them in categories of they didn't earn a lot or they earned a lot. After putting them in categories, I decided that I should message the people who hadn't sold anything and be like, hey, this isn't yours, please don't use it and try to sell it on products. Thanks. And I got many different responses. Some were, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'll take it down immediately. And other ones contested me on it. One person <laughs> said that they had paid someone on Fiverr to make a design and that's what they'd made. Therefore it was theirs, and they didn't feel like they needed to take it down because it was theirs. So I reported them to Etsy and they had the listing taken down. Because <laughs> it wasn't theirs. It wasn't theirs. <laughs> God. This is, this is very stressful. We were going to, because what you can do is try and claim money on products that have sold with your design on without your knowledge, you know, try and get some money for them using your stuff and earning money from your design. We were going to do that. We had plans to do that. And then it got to like mid-December and I was busy doing work stuff, Etsy stuff myself, and I just didn't have the time to do it. And it was stressing me out that these shops still had these listings and were probably still making money off it because of Christmas time. It was making me sad because it's I don't like confrontation with people. I don't like having to argue with people or be mean, but also they had stolen a design and were making money from it. So I mean <sighs> So yesterday I decided to make a notepad document on all of the Etsy listings that I had found that they'd earned a decent amount from and report them to Etsy. Here, here is a screen recording of all of those listings that I found. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. <laughs> a, little, a little bit heartbreaking, not gonna lie. There was one shop who had used the design 
so many times on Etsy, Redbubble, Spread, Spread, is it called Spread, Spread, wait, Spread, Spreadshirt. Yes, Spreadshirt. Who had uploaded it on all of those billions of times. I'll show you the notepad, how many there were. And I don't think I even got them all on Spreadshirt because there was just, their system is not very good to search things. Oh, so I did that all at the same time for that shop <laughs> so that he wouldn't have any time between them to remove the listings. Etsy got rid of them all within an hour of me doing this yesterday on Boxing Day. Redbubble did it in a couple of hours and Spreadshirt took like less than a day. So good. <laughs> what else do I say about that? It kind of, it was getting me down a lot, which is why I dealt with it that way. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, you should have got some money for it. Which, yeah, honestly, I just don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to have to deal with it. It's so, like, I just made, I just made a tiny graphic three, two years ago and put it on my blog. That's all. What pisses me off the most is people who are like, oh, well, I found the graphic online, so it's free. No, that's not how graphics work. Someone was literally like, well, it's all, it's on Google, so it's free. No. Very, very frustrating. I'm almost tempted to go and have a look now, but I can't. I packaged 13 orders today and I got them sent out and I treated myself to a KFC and some Pepsi. And I never drink Pepsi anymore, so I'm not going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to look tonight. If any of you guys want to, sure. Heart hand, K-pop, those are the three words. If you see anything like this, or a heart that looks like this, which by the way is hilarious, the guy who stole a bunch of, a bunch of, no, who stole the design and put it on a bunch of things, kept using my heart in different listings, which is hilarious because it's not even a good heart. It's misshapen. And the way people are editing it makes it look worse as well. I'm just like, <laughs> I've been recording for 13 minutes. I'm gonna go now. That's been, that's been the stress of me for the past two months, basically, uh, which I didn't share with anyone because, you know? Oh well, think of how much money I could have made, but, but didn't. <laughs>